Uh, I remember pretty well. I was in the old barn. I guess we called it the back barn I was living in. And uh, Charlie come on by. Steven, get your chainsaw and get a couple of old, old blades, old chains. We gotta go cut Vesper's house in half. Well, I was probably half stoned, he was half stoned. I said, what are you talking about? He says, we're gonna cut Vesper's house in half. He says, just, just get your chainsaw and come on, I'll tell you what's going on. Well, uh, Vesper was living in I don't know if it was a double wide or old house. Been there a long time. The spring was there. The root cellar was there. The power box was there. And uh, he was going to get one of these Jim Walter homes, some kind of a new house. But he wanted the house to be where the root cellar was, where the spring was, where everything was. And he needed a place to live while the house was being built. So we went on down there. We got some poles and some two by fours and what have you. And we got up on the roof and we just cut that house in half. And uh, let me tell you, there were a lot of boards, poplar boards, three, four layers of boards in the roof and the ceiling. And then we cut it in half, propped the ceilings up with these boards. We got some jacks. Jacked the house up off the foundation, put some big locust posts under it, and got the tractor, and just pulled the two halves down the holler a little bit, not too far, past the chicken yard in the first barn. And uh, Vesper and Evelyn lived in one half of the house, and Daniel and Sheila lived in the other half of the house. I, if I'm not mistaken, they lived through one winter, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, they built the new house where the old one was, where the root cellar was, where the spring rock was, the electric line, and what have you, the flower beds. I mean, Evelyn had those irises and peonies, and she did a lot of work with those flowers. So that's about the story when we cut Vesper Lewis's house in half.